These are Australian parrot chicks. They came into the world five days apart from one another. So there are considerable differences between them. The first chick to hatch is much larger than the last. Yet the mother parrot treats them all fairly. Every chick is given as much food as it needs. Ten days later, the oldest chick is still much larger than the others. Yet it miraculously shares its food with the smallest and weakest sibling, feeding it with its own beak. Why does that tiny chick make such a sacrifice? Why does it give its own food to its helpless sibling? Believers in Darwin's theory of evolution can never answer that question. Because that outdated theory rests on the assumption that everything in nature is selfish and engaged in a ruthless fight for survival. Yet, as we have seen, even a tiny chick shares its food with its weaker and helpless siblings when necessary. All the chicks grow up to be strong and healthy, thanks to the feelings of sharing and solidarity inspired in them by God. The woodpecker's beak is a magnificent drill. It first bores a hole in the tree with its beak, and then puts an acorn in the hole for retrieval later in the winter. This tree contains some 60,000 acorns stored in it by woodpeckers. It is no easy job to make 60,000 holes in tree bark. Woodpeckers manage it, however, with great patience and devotion, and then fill the holes with acorns. Their aim is to be able to feed their families through the harsh days of winter. Young members of the family assist in these preparations. Every bird carries out its duty to the letter. Not one neglects to do so. In a demonstration of perfect cooperation and solidarity, the woodpecker family prepares for the hard days to come. <laughs> 